Welcome to the Working Man Committee Podcast. I'm your host, Brandon T. And let's get started. Dem- the Democrat strategists. They out there, y'all. They, 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 they forming plans about to rewrite the Republican Party for the Republicans. What I mean by that is they got this person here. This is Marjorie Taylor Greene. And you might know her. She is a house. She's in. She's in the house. She's on a second term, and and so in the last uh, house, she was uh, said every every conspiracy theory she knew. She shared it. Yep. So she's one of the ones that was on her phone. Oh, last page of Google, I guess, and and, and then took it to work to try. I guess to try to sound smart or whatever. I don't know. And and so, what's gonna happen with old Marjorie Green here is um, Democrat strategists, right? You no, know, they it's getting close to election year, and you know they gonna try to figure out how to frame the Republican Party, right? So you know if they look at Trump, right? They want to talk about Trump, but they don't want to talk about Trump. You know, so that's one that's a sticky issue. The reason that sticky is they don't want to give Trump credit. Cause, you know what I'm saying? He was kicked off all social media. And like, but the fact, they, they all let him back, but he hasn't came back. He, he, he's on his true social. And so the, and so they report all, they report what he say over there. But they you know, they look it, and then they have to say something about him. But they they don't want to. And so they need somebody else they can uh, use his punch bag. McCarthy. They they want to, but Parfit's you know what I'm saying, kind of a hard one to, to cause like I said, he's kind of he's more party line guy, and he doesn't go too far outside of that. And so they they look they found two people, Marjorie Taylor Greene, which and they said they claim she's a rising star, but like I said, I think the Democrats are holding her up there, and Senator Rick Scott, you know what I'm saying, they were able, able to get Rick Scott to say some things, you know what I'm saying, they was like well. On the debts and the cuts, he was like, they look at everything. And they, you know what that everything, they focus everything on was Medicare and Social Security. Medicare and Social Security. Yeah. And so, like I said, with um, with with um, with um, that, so they're, they're fighting him over debt. So, and then also, you got to look at it. Rick Scott, the senator from Florida. And we know what's in Florida. A bunch of seniors. So they gonna, I know they're gonna use that against him on when it's time for re-election. But anyway, Marjorie Taylor Greene, right? She doesn't, you know, so she's not really liked in the party. She's one of those, you know, you, you would think if she was a Democrat, she'd be part of the squad, right? You know, said AOC, Ilhan Omar, and the uh, the few others that that uh, run those circles and say whatever they feel like saying, and then she's on the other side saying those things. And so they're gonna, like I said, they're gonna, like I said, they they can't talk about Trump. They don't want to talk about Trump. I'm not gonna say can't. They don't want to at this juncture. You know what I'm saying? So they gonna use her. Yep. And so, so like, like I said, last term she got kicked off her committee assignments, right? Because talking crazy. So when she was able this time to hold her vote for McCarthy, she was like, McCarthy, I gave my vote. I need some more. I need to be back on committees. And she was able to pull that off. Huh? She got she got back on committees and so forth. And so to, to give her a uh, microphone. And see what her though is her poll numbers. You gotta, you gotta understand her poll numbers. She's like I said, she she used to get back in terms like I said, it's, it's, it's been understood that if you are a politician, you know why politicians be in office so long. It's like if you win the first round, if you get in, right? It's hard to lose. Incumbents rarely lose, and so when, when seats flip over, that's normally somebody uh, not coming back, not rerunning, retiring, all that good stuff. I imagine retiring. You re- house members run every two years, and you can make it to a retirement. Yeah, right. Crazy. Yeah, but like I said, she like I said the, the Democratic strategy is gonna use her. So you watch out for that. If you're a Republican, you know, and then you watch more or less. Um, you watch all the cable news shows. You know, you got you got a mix. You got you know, what I'm saying Fox over here, 
and then you got CNN right there, then you got MSNBC, all those. Watch and see how they put a camera around her more. Let her talk more. Interesting what she got to say and so forth. She might, she probably won't be invited to the Sunday shows. But in general, just catching her, you know, say you got that, uh, the one reporter. What'd you say? You know, that reporter. You know what I'm saying? It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be something. All right. And our next story is going to be an important one for the working man. What I what I mean by that, working man, you got to watch out for this one. You, in turn, did too well. And no good deed goes unpunished. So, here we go. Stocks mixed on retail sales data. Yes. So this this is what they were looking for. So the estimate was uh retail sales be up uh one point nine percent. So you know what I'm you got a little cash, you coming off the holidays, you had you had to spend for Christmas, right? You know what I'm saying? This is you know what I'm saying? But 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 you actually did too well. Uh, retail sales up three percent, and now, so that was the that was the largest month over month jump since March of twenty twenty one. So I guess you could say March twenty twenty one, you maybe got your taxes back, but now you've seen it now, taxes ain't pretty much in that equation. It's just you what you had, what you got, and so. And then, two, another thing they're going to look at is Airbnb numbers is up. So, y'all moving around. But y'all renting out rooms in y'all houses and letting people move in. You know what I'm saying? All y'all just like, hey, I got this work from home job. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? It's cold where I'm at. Let me go over here. Work in Southern California. Uh, I'm in Buffalo, New York. And it's too cold. Let me go to Arizona. Let me go to San Diego. Let me go down to Florida, wherever you wanted to go, Texas, just to work. And you ain't had to, you know what I'm saying, sell your house. You know what I'm saying? You just pack up your laptop, understand what time zone you in, and make that happen. And so with, with that news of that stuff, here's the, here's the uh, bad part. Because like I said, the market knows that Jerome Powell, Yes. Fed chair. Don't like that information. No. He don't, he wants you not to spend anything. Cause like it's inflation. He's fighting inflation. And inflation is pretty much too many dollars following too few items. And he said, y'all dollars are following everything. And so Powell is not going to like that. He's probably going to hit the interest rates hard on, on the next Fed meeting. And so the stock market is... Imp- is uh, pretty much sold, was selling off today. In fact, waiting on that. You would think, like I said, retail data being strong. In a normal time, normal goods, not inflation, this number been great. Stock market would have, boom, everybody's portfolio would have been jumping like Jordan. But nah, cause they, like I said, the market knows that next Fed meeting, so we had one and a half last time, Fed might hit it three quarters. Whole point. So, like I said, no good D goes unpunished. But like I said, I'm going to commend you working, man. Uh, do adversity in hard times. Y'all handling business. Keeping everything going that you want going. Keeping your lifestyle the way it's supposed to be. Being innovative. And so forth. Side hustles. All that stuff. Making money. Outside of the traditional nine to five, punching the clock, wait to Friday to get your check. Uh, so we like I said, we gonna we gonna continue and always stay up on this Fed news and so forth. Cause like I said, that's this is one of the most important stories that the working man needs to know about. And, and with that said, with with that said. This has been the Working Man Committee Podcast. Like and subscribe. I'm your host, Brandon T., and we'll see you later. Peace.